evening everyone thank you for taking time off from your schedule to join us the cipriani college of labor and cooperative studies family in this uh, this session we will be sharing or i will be sharing some valuable information as it pertains to the security administration and emergency management department my name is Adriana Archer, and I am head of the Security Administration and the Emergency Management Department. And I must say that Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies is the only tertiary in institution in Trinidad and Tobago and in the region that offers a Bachelor of Science degree in Security Administration and the management. So it is indeed my honor and privilege to be at the helm of this department. So let us get right into, let us get right into it. All in the essence of, um, of time. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut with to present, to begin my presentation for this afternoon. So here we go. So we know we always see human beings as being good. You know, we like to rationalize and we like to procrastinate. Sometimes we say, hmm. We say, oh, we may pass and say, oh, ah, those grapes. You see the grapes hanging, right? We didn't take the time to, you know, to ascertain whether or not the grapes are good, whether the grapes are bad, whether they are sweet, whether they are sour. We just say, oh, we just pass and leave the grapes. So, and we might say, ah, those grapes, they, you know, they were probably sour anyway. So why bother? But there's a sincere belief that an effort should not be made or non-action is perceived to be justified by skewed considerations. So creating false but plausible excuses to justify one's, one's behavior, we even rationalize and procrastinate when it comes to our own educational development. So here is, or here it is. So some common rationalizations of not studying. Everybody dislikes it. We believe the government will mind me. <clears throat> it's not worth the purpose. I'm not serious. I'm not that serious. I deserve my time can't take that studying thing, or it's a thankless pursuit. Or maybe even they won't promote me when I'm finished. And I may just be close to retirement, so I'm just going to bide out my time. So we should reach, we should get to that, that place where we should stop procrastinating. We should get on board, continue our education, get the training that we always wanted. And here's what we have to offer as the Department of Security Administration and Emergency Management. 
But before we do so, let's look at some important stuff. Let's look at what makes a CCLCS or Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies learning unique. Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies, we have been in business over 50 years. So we have over 50 years experience in administrating courses and training. We are considered an industry leader. Security Administration and Emergency Management Department is recognized as the only in the department that offers a Bachelor's of Science degree in Security Administration and Management, which was alluded to before. CCLCS possesses strategic leadership and direction under the the direction of our director, Dr. Henry. And of course, we have experienced and qualified lecturers. We are also ACTT certified, which is important because it, it speaks to we having accomplished what ACTT requirements, ACTT requirements in order for us to reach the standard. We also have that our 10 Saturdays program. Where at Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies, you don't have you don't have to have any subjects or maybe not a full a full certificate in order to participate in the 10 Saturdays program. It is also seen as a vehicle where you can use uh, to be a part of the tertiary level experience. Uh, because on completing the 10 Saturdays, you can move straight into the certificate program. You can advance to the diploma program all the way up to the, to the bachelor's level. We even had students uh, on completing their, their bachelor's uh, would have moved on to the University of the West Indies, where they would have completed their, their master's program in criminology and even law. Then we have our student internship pro um, program. You, we could refer to this as the on-the-job training because during this intense internship period, students uh, basically enjoy on-the-job training. They are placed in, in, in organizations you know, where they are exposed and actually being trained as a professional or in becoming a security manager or a security supervisor. Because this is basically what the program is about, bringing you to that, to that place where you are seen as a security manager or a security supervisor. That is what we train you for in, our, in this department. Then there's the research projects. Where it encourages you to explore the world of security, engaging in an area of study applicable to, to security in which you may share some great interests. So you may have a, a particular interest in a certain aspect of the of the, of the of the security. It may have something to do with physical security planning, you know, such as CCTV cameras, the alarm systems, and how they sound. What is the relationship between that and crime, and you know, stuff like that. So you get an opportunity to research that, to do one-on-one. -on -one, um, have one-on-one -on -one conversations with persons in the industry with respect to that and so forth, and actually develop your whole being with respect to that area of study that you consider, you know, of great importance to you, and maybe even to the to you moving on to that area 
of professionalism that uh, you really want to do within the security industry. We also have online mobile library services. So if you cannot come to the library, we will bring the library to you. Students at the South Campus, because we have campuses at Valsin, we have camp campuses in the South, MIC, and we also have campuses in Tobago. So students can easily access relevant, sorry, relevant reading material. And there is also, that is from the mobile library services, and there's also the online library where you can access that from your homes, and more so in this COVID-19 time, and what we are going through with respect to this new normal. Shops of services, another, you know, important or unique aspect of the, of the college. And again, this is for the protection of the students, where we at CCLCS, we care about you, we care about your safety. So if you don't own a vehicle, the shuttle service will be there to pick you up and bring you to the campus and take you back on completion of your studies to your destination. But of course, this service is not available at this time as a result of COVID-19 and all our courses, all our programs would be online at this time. So what is our program vision? The program vision at this department, security, administration, and emergency management, firstly is to promote excellence of the highest quality. Secondly, the programs are designed to prepare students for professional and managerial employment in fields of the public and private security industry. Investigations, looking at loss prevention, risk management. Also employment within government agencies, such as the, the Office of the, of the Prime Minister, the Ministry of Health, nonprofit organizations. And of course, you can be self-employed if you wish you can. You can look at opening your own security, you know, company. That is how far we go. So the program aim is to provide opportunities for gaining additional accreditation in the related study of security to meet local legislation, governing private security, regional and international standards for the security industry. Also to refine the concepts, tools, and strategies developed at the lower levels of studies in security administration and emergency management and align them with similar internationally accredited requirements. Also to provide a strong academic foundation to support preparation for eventual international certification for the security professional, security, um, certification or the certified protection professional or CPP offered by the American Society for Industrial Security. Aimed also to create opportunities for faculty and students to participate in the academic trust for new areas of higher education within the security industry. Our program outcomes, some of our program outcomes will be to relate to and be cognizant of the functions of security personnel at the level of supervisors and above, to recommend effective security measures in the protection of an organization's assets, formulate measures for the protection of property and human beings in the workplaces and homes, participate in executive decision making that impact the lives of persons within and outside of the organization. Also, to conduct risk assessment and security service in the protection of loss prevention. Write and formulate plans in security administration and emergency management and liaise with public police 
on matters pertaining to crime. So what are some of our industry relevant courses? Courses in the SAM and EMM programs are industry relevant and are structured to provide students with learning experiences that will boost their academic achievements and employment opportunities. So as a result, students are introduced to interactive classroom activities, which require them to develop models, participate in role plays, make presentations and conduct research to explore areas of the course the course outlines that's allowing them to submit work of a high quality. And all this will be done online for this upcoming semester. So, are you still procrastinating? Now here's what we have to offer. And this is what I refer to as the progression charter. Well, like I said before, we could start you off with a 10 Saturdays, move you to a certificate and a diploma, associate degree, a bachelor's, and then you can go further on to doing your master's and even your PhD, if you so um, if you so choose. We also have an accelerated practitioner's certificate, which will be coming online from this semester, where you can do three courses, three core courses and three workshops and obtain a certificate in security administration and management. So some of the offerings, like we said, bachelor's of science, associate degree, diploma in security administration and management, certificate in security administration, then Saturday's program. And of course the accelerated practitioner certificate where we could break that down into fraud detection and prevention and security operation strategies. And of course, there are these standalone courses where you can do any course within the security, within this department, and that too will commence from September in the upcoming, the upcoming semester. So some of the core courses offered, we have like Intro to Security, Principles of Security Administration, Crisis and Risk Management, Security Operational Management, Workplace Violence, Computer Crime, Industrial Espionage, Current Issues in Security Administration, Fundamentals of Criminal Investigations, Monitoring and Evaluation, Civil and Crim Criminal Procedures and Evidence. With respect to emergency management, we only we don't do um, bachelor's and associate degree in emergency management, but we do offer diplomas and certificate for one year each, and also ten Saturdays program. And there's also the accelerated practitioner certificate, again starting in in September in disaster management. And all these all these courses will be delivered and guided under the hands of qualified lecturers who possess a wealth of knowledge of security administration and management, and of course, emergency management. So what are some of the courses offered under emergency management? We have emergency operation policies and laws response to agency preparedness, introduction to terrorism, public preparedness and awareness, incident command systems, community emergency response teams, hazard mitigation in disaster management and a whole other range of courses. And again, the certificate and the diploma are one year courses. The diploma is 24 courses and the certificate covers 21, sorry, 24 credits and the certificate covers 21 credits. So what will that diploma in emergency management do for you? To represent communities and agencies in discussions on disaster preparedness, develop and design disaster mitigation strategies, advise agencies and communities on risk reduction plans, 
participate in multi-agency coordination and management of emergency operations during disasters. The certificate, on the other hand, will allow you to conduct hazard analysis, develop and write disaster plans, interpret and apply the laws and policies in emergency management, coordinate emergency management operations, prepare for and conduct disaster planning, disaster planning meetings. So what do we have now? Four courses, 18 to 56 credits, general ed, 8 to 24 supporting courses, which will total between 39 to 119 credits for the, for the bachelors and for the associate diplomas and certificates. Of course, we'll do less, you know, you will do less courses in your respective areas. Specialized training, we offer specialized training in fraud and fraud awareness, effective corporate governance in the security industry and community emergency response team, which is which is, of course, emergency management. What are your career opportunities available when you graduate from or graduate with a degree in security administration and management or a diploma in emergency management or certificate? You can be a security manager in an organization. You can be a security supervisor within a, a security um, organization. You can become safety officers in schools. You can become members of the Trinidad Tobago Police Service, the regiment, the Coast Guard, prison service, or you can become your own entrepreneur, establishing your own security company. And of course, ODPM, disaster management within the regional corporation and the Municipal, municipalities. So you could take like maybe up to three to four years to complete your bachelor's in security administration and management, that is full-time and part-time you can complete within four to five years. For the associate, you can do it within two years. And if you can register, you know, maybe up to five courses if you feel you can handle that. Part-time within three years, and you can register up to four courses if you so if you so desire. So what are some frequently asked questions? You may want to know when does this semester commence, you start to discuss the semester commences on the 7th of September 2020, 2021 school year. Yes, we'll be doing all courses on online. No, the exams are not all that challenging. They're actually very interesting. Is there a student girl? Yes, and the programs are indeed gate approved. Yeah. Well, we are not in classrooms at this point in time. We are actually online, but yes, all our classrooms are air conditioned. So if you are needs, we are under the we come we are under the Ministry of of of, of Labour, and uh, well, it's the name itself speaks for itself. Cipriani College of Labour and Cooperative Studies. Yes, all our lecturers they all have they all um, they all possess master's degree. As a matter of fact, that is the lowest you can go to be a lecturer at the college. You must have your master's degree or above. Can I enter with A-levels or CAPE and start my degree? Yes, you can. Do I have to do maths and English? Yes, you do. And if you don't have, if you come in without maths and English, well, then there is always diagnostic testing in maths and English that you can do. Foundation courses, if you have been away from, from school for a long time, we do have um, um, courses that we offer in terms of critical development and courses in, in terms of um, critical thinking, foundations of, um, of English and so forth, um, computer introduction to computer and so forth. Um, but uh, like I said, we do have diagnostic testing for maths and English if you 
if you really feel that you may need it to revisit some of those um those courses are there registration fees yes there are registration fees registration fees at this time is 870 dollars and of course we have payment plans if you are unable to pay um, all your fees at once or if um, they are not being gate funded um, but of course there is gate for those of you under the, the stipulated age you can always apply to gate in order to cover the cost of your your programs so let me conclude at this time by saying that it is the CCLCS desire and by extension the department to make learning and teaching pleasing and enjoyable in keeping with the uniqueness of our college. At the end of your journey with us, you would leave with a sense of achievement, pride, appreciation and gratitude for the learning that you would have received. That piece of paper that we give you when you graduate will be your ticket to freedom and can be matched with any other degree or certification worldwide. Remember, we are ACTT certified. Now you can go far when you get started at Cipriani College of Labor and Cooperative Studies. So I urge you to start your studies today and don't procrastinate. I will be very pleased to answer or address any questions that you may have at this time. Thank you. Thank you all very much. And I will stop sharing now so we can get into our discussion. Any questions so far? Right, so I'm seeing some questions here. Let me see how best I could, uh, I could answer your questions. This one's question here deals with women police, uh, where the, the person is saying that, uh, or is asking women are celebrating 62 years being allowed into the police service. How did you get into the field and was it a struggle? So this person who is asking this question, um, they knew that I was a former police officer. I actually spent 28 years in the Trinidad Tobago Police Service. I left as a, as, as a sergeant of police. I worked at the Criminal Investigations Department for over 20 years and the person here is asking, how did you get into the field? I was actually in introduced into police center by a former co-worker of mine. And um, her daughter, her daughter was actually a police officer. And she actually encouraged me to, to join the service, and I did that. And uh, it has been a, an experience. It has been experienced because, like I said, I worked at the Criminal Investigations Department um, in Port of Spain for a number of years. And I was also part, part of the, the, the Crime Stoppers initiative where I actually started off, um, started the program, the Crime Stoppers program. And uh, I continued in that program until I retired from the, the service in, in, in 2012. But it wasn't really um, a, a great struggle. I just did my job, and I think that was sufficient. Another question here is, when you look at some TV shows like CSI and what they do as police officers, do the courses in various program levels give you some of these skills, like crime scene analysis, criminal investigations, etc.? 
Yes, sir. Actually, we one of our courses um, is forensic investigations, uh, where we teach you about uh, crime scenes, uh, crime scenes investigation. We teach you about um, the, the the role and functions of being um, a crime scene investigator. We teach you about um, first responding. How how do you respond to to a um, um, a scene? A crime scene and what do you do um cordon of the area and so forth we teach you about um about interrogation and interviewing yeah we teach you all about ethics how you ought to behave you know when you're actually dealing with with crime and with criminals so we actually go through the whole thing fingerprinting dna testing all these things all these things are taught under that course forensic investigation so yes we kind of um mirror and do some of the things that's done at um um on some of these programs you know csi and um, ncis and, and and stuff like that but um um we don't of course our crime scene investigators don't dress up because you know it's all a movie like those persons they actually wear the correct um the correct um garb the white suits the the the, the shoes the they cover their faces and everything they have their kits and everything, just how it ought to be done. All right. You know, I always marvel at DCSI. They always find um, a piece of hair. Even though here, here particles, you know, glass, broken glass, all these things are part of um, the crime scene investigation. But uh, I like it. I like finding that brain of hair and actually being able to trace the, 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 the perpetrator or the offender, you know, um, through DNA testing, as the case might be. Another question here, I am a police officer for five years. Will I qualify for any exemptions? Well, you could qualify for um, exemptions if you have certification, you know, from other institutions. Um, and once they are in line with um, what we require, what our requirements are at the college, well, yes, you would be, you would, um, you would get your exemptions there, but you would not get exemptions by just merely being, a, you know, a police officer. Officer, you could get, you would be enrolled in a program. Yes, you may not have to do internship because you already work in the field, but. Um, that is about the as much as the exemptions that you would get there. Another question here: My area was recently flooded, and I saw persons in my community very much unprepared. Will any of the programs give me training to help my community prepare if this happens again? Yes, under um, emergency management, we we do run that sort of program there that would um assist you with all these things, showing you how you should um, evacuate, you know, when um, when there are disasters and so forth, and not, and not only floods, but fires or whatever disaster there, there may be. We offer um, courses in um, disaster preparedness and so forth. So yes, under emergency management, you would, you would be, um, you would be trained, you know, you would be trained in that. Um, another question here, I'm 18 years and thinking of joining the police, army, or Coast Guard. Which program would you recommend that I do? I would recommend that you do. Well, if you are 18 and you're thinking about joining, no. Um, I don't know how much subjects you have, or what your qualifications are. But um, any one of our programs will be suitable. Maybe you should, if you want, um, you could start with the with our diploma to get a feel for, for, for how the program is, and then you could matriculate maybe to the associate or even even the bachelor's. But um, I know to join the police service, you will need five five O levels. So I am thinking that you do have five O levels, so you will qualify for any one of our programs. Another question here, would you recommend police officers to do classes in SAM? Definitely. 
definitely, definitely, definitely. As a, a matter of fact, we have a lot of police officers who would have passed through, you know, um, um, the security department, some department, and um, they would have, some would have started off the older ones, you know, remember some time ago, before they started, um, before persons, uh, um, applicants for the police service uh, um, needed um, passes. Remember, police officers uh, could have just joined with a, a school event certificate. Uh, and there was so there were some police officers like that. Uh, and they actually started off uh, at the college, uh, some department, uh, with uh, they started off with the 10 Saturdays program. And they moved from the 10 Saturdays to the certificate. Then they went to the diploma, then to the associate, and then they went to the bachelor's. You know, so they went through the whole thing from start to finish. And like I said before, some of them even went on to the University of the West Indies where they accepted to do their master's degree. Now this will tell you how, you know, how, how um, great our program actually is because it is even recognized and accepted by our, by the university, the University of the West Indies. The hours for the 10 Saturdays, we, um, the program could either run in the, in the morning period um, from eight to 12 or in the afternoon from, from one to four, right? It all depends on which program you, you want to register for. Um, but we run the programs either eight to 12 or, or one or one to four, 10 consecutive, um, 10 conse consecutive Saturdays at which um, at the end, you would be given a, um, a certificate to show that you did indeed, you know, participate in the program. How long is the diploma program? The diploma program is one year over two semesters. 24 credits, four, four, four courses in the first semester and four courses in the second semester. Okay, I think that is it there. So I just want to say thanks again to, to everyone who, um, again, would have taken time out to be with us here this afternoon. It has indeed been a pleasure for me being here and to be able to share some of uh, some of the, you know, the knowledge and so forth with respect to what takes place in the Security Administration and Emergency Management Department. And uh, I just at this time would like to say thanks again and um, for you all to, to be safe. If you don't have to go out, don't go out. Be safe and stay at home. Thank you all very much.